Good evening and welcome to Complin. I don't know about you, but life can get so, so busy that I seem to have gone back to bed before I've even got up in the morning. And I've spent very little time with God. Not because I didn't want to, but just because everything else has got in the way. Well, in Complin, we had time to stop. Just stop and be. If you're busy at home at the moment doing the dishes or anything else around the house, give your permission, your self permission to stop. Stop right now. Go and sit and be with God. For even Jesus had to stop. And in Mark chapter 6, we hear these words. Then, because so many people were coming and going, that they did not even have a chance to eat. He said to them, come with me by yourselves to a quiet place and get some rest. Well, I think we all need rest these days in our mad chaotic world. Let's find that time this evening. Let us pray. Lord and Father, give me the grace to pause, take breath and reassess just where I am. Help me find time to hear your voice in the quiet. Amen. I'm just going to read a poem to start us. So easy, Lord, to crowd you out. So much to do. So little time to do it all. I struggle through the crowd of my own business to get to you. Each little thing an obstacle delaying me and everything I need to do coils around my feet and trips me up, and it keeps us apart. All that I need to do, Lord, you question it. Why do I need to do so much? Well then, there's family and church and all those other jobs that fill my diary, and you question me again. But all I do, I do for you, or try to anyway. And if the quality is not very good, you could at least acknowledge all the effort I put in. But when I take a breath and stop to think, the very work that I do for you holds us apart. And if I really love you, as I say I do, I'd push away the things my ego thinks important, to spend more time not working for, but being with the one I say I love. And I think we'd enjoy it more. Eddie Askew really does put my thoughts into words. Let's begin Complim. Come Lord, where we sit in darkness. Come Lord, where we sit in light. Come Lord, into our homes and houses. Come Lord, into our lives tonight. We come with our broken lives, our fragments of hopes and dreams. We come with our human longings, with all that we are, we come. To be greeted with grace, welcomed in love and made to feel at home. In the knowledge that we come to you, our living God. Lord, when we fall, lift us. When we stumble, catch us. When we despair, fill us with hope. When we cry out to you, hear us and hold us until we fear no more. We cried out for help and found that you were there, for you will never leave us. We cried out for peace and found that you were there, for your peace is as no other. We cried out for hope and found that you were there, for all our hope comes from you. We cried out for joy and found that you were there, for your spirit fills us with joy. You, Lord, our help, our peace our hope and our joy. Let's spend some time together in prayer. It will be made up of times of silences after biddings for you to put your prayers in and just spend that quietness with God. Let us pray. In the fullness of the day, Lord, I may have missed your voice. For that I am truly sorry. 
let me hear you now in the silence of prayer. We pray for the world as it chaotically hurtles around. We pray for our leaders as we live with their decisions, no matter how we feel about them. We pray for our homes and families, for with love comes responsibility and sometimes discord. We pray for ourselves and bring our joy and sadness to you, our Lord and King, as we sit here in silence. And let's join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord of our past, our present and our future, walk with us this night. Lord of our lives, our hopes and our dreams, let them be always directed by you. Lord of our secrets and our openness, let us hide nothing from you. Lord, let us never forget that with you all things are possible. You are strength and fortress. You who hide us in the shadow of your wings. Lord, give each of us this night a rest-filled sleep, that tomorrow we may rise with you in our hearts, your purposes to fulfil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I hope you do find time to have rest and peace, not just this evening, in the coming few days, so you are restored with energy to serve our Lord. Amen and good night. <laughs>